May 2016 and the John Hart project has achieved another major milestone with the completion of the powerhouse cavern. It's really impressive and we'll see that in a moment. First we're going to start here at the John Hart Dam and then work our way down to see all the key project construction advancements. This is the water intake area. So here we have the completed coffer dam that's holding the water back in the John Hart Reservoir. And so crews are able to work their way downward on the upstream side of the John Hart Dam. They're working their way down through about 20 meters of rock, which will then provide the ability to put in a water intake gate to control water flow underneath the dam and into the power tunnel. We're now on the downstream side of the John Hart Dam where our project contractor in Power BC is working on the, the water works to provide the water flow into the power tunnel. And so the first part is to create water intake structure. It's about 26 meters long by about nine meters wide. They'll pass that water into that shaft. The shaft itself is about 6.5 meters in diameter. And how we're gonna remove that rock, well essentially it's gonna be done by crane. We're gonna move the equipment and the control drilling and blasting to remove all that rock and how we're gonna get it out is get an excavator, put that inside, and a bucket to remove that rock material outwards. In terms of the power tunnel shaft to the uh, powerhouse, that works about the horizontal element of the tunnel. That's being worked at from the powerhouse upwards to this location where the two will join. Now, let's have a look at that amazing powerhouse cavern that was completed this month. This is a very exciting achievement for SNC-Lavalin, Aikon and Frontier Camper as part of the Empower BC team. This is a great advantage of the complete powerhouse cavern. The first blast to remove the rock from the powerhouse cavern, which was in March 2015. In total, there were 485 blasts and we removed about 60,000 cubic meters of rock. It is a massive underground cave. From top to bottom, it is 40 meters high. Now we transition to building the facility that will eventually include three turbines and generators. Throughout the project site, we are currently coordinating about 285 people, which will grow over the years as we move into the various building stage, as well as bringing in more subcontractors and suppliers. We're now at the bottom of the project site where water from the tunnels will re-enter the Camp River system. And so at this location, we're constructing the water outlet facilities. And so to do that, we're moving about 20 meters of rock vertically. And at the same time, we have six turbines and generators within the generating station that are running. So there's close coordination with our contractor in the controlled drilling and blasting to do this rock removal process and yet maintain power generation. So, so far so good. We're maintaining power generation 24 seven and providing constant river flows downstream for fish habitat. Paul, good construction advancements across the project site, well done. The components of this project are really taking shape. And, you know, I think the, the heavy equipment and the rock removal process takes a lot of the feature, but really it's that dedicated, comprehensive team that's what's making this project so successful to date. And I'm wondering if you could talk about that perspective. Absolutely, Stephen. Uh, it's a complex and highly sensitive project. Um, it requires us to maintain our rock removal production and uh, complete the construction of the uh, civil, mechanical and electrical installations in a well-coordinated and well-executed manner to help us stay on budget and on schedule. In all facets of the work, um, we need specialists to do important tasks and it's been great to see a lot of that expertise is available right here in uh, Campbell River and on Vancouver Island. It takes people, uh, doing excellent work for a project like this to continue as well as it has. The design, the planning, the on-site communications all has to work in harmony together for the project to go well. It takes a real team and the John Hart team um, is up to the challenge and is the, delivering the results um, in a safe and environmentally responsible manner. 